so there was also words in the movie like uh, that's something new is creepy. Like I can a little, let that go a little bit because any figure of a child, <laughs> <laughs> like doll type of thing, is creepy to me. So I can I can kind of let that joke slide. Um, but when but treating it as a piggy bank, come on, yeah. like. Now you piss me off, and I'm gonna take each and Damn. every. Deb, look. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's ten thousand dollars. <laughs> And, and again, it kind of goes back into why why putting the name right. And so the next portion is talking about the, the stand-up portion in the movie, which is during the, like, Easter Sunday sermon. I, I didn't have necessary, like, I took issue with that, but that one I could suspend disbelief, okay? Like, cool, Joe Koi, it's a Joe Koi movie. You're doing stand-up during the sermon. I can almost believe that. And, you know, during some sermons, there's there's guest speakers, you know? So it's not too far-fetched. Um, again, that would have been better for me if it was a wedding. You know, he's a best man, and he's doing a stand-up, or a birthday, and he's doing stand-up. Um, not, me- not necessarily... Um, in church, but I could I could kind of like roll with it. Thoughts? Yeah, and especially that, again, the movie is Easter Sunday. That scene was Easter Sunday. Yeah. And if you've ever been to an Easter Sunday Mass, of course, the main focus is on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And to have, you know, some random guy <laughs> from the congregation talk about his Tita and his mom fighting and trying to break them up, in a sense, and stop the fighting, it takes away from that true meaning of Easter Sunday. Yeah. Um, Great point. I think, especially when it comes to the Catholic faith, well, Christianity in in, in general, like Easter is the reason, right? <laughs> like we say Christmas is like is the season, um, Jesus is the reason, but like without the resurrection in Easter, um, there is no Christianity. That 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 is the as, as much as the Passover is the Exodus Passover is important to Judaism. Um, Pascal, uh, the Paschal Lamb Passover for. Christianity is the is the crux, right? The cross of the the Christian faith, and so yeah, I think that is a, an important portion to talk about. Like especially if you're if it's, it's Easter Sunday, it needs to be talking about Easter Sunday, right? And so good point. Um, also during the mass, they said, um, and it's outdated. They said, I, I could have sworn, like you can correct me, but um, it, they said, peace be with you and also with you, you know. And um, the the real translation is ekam espirito tuo, which is and with your spirit. So I I believe it back in two thousand eight, two thousand eight, right? And they they reverted back to the original translation, which is uh, and with your spirit, right? And so for this move, and I've, and, no, I actually, I do recall this. Be- Up and let us rejoice. Peace be with you. Because I audibly, during the theater, <laughs> when they said, peace be with you and also with you, I, I audibly said, and with your spirit. <laughs> like, I'm like, what is going on? And th- this is the part that kills me. Like, who? Like, how many Filipinos were on here? Like, even if you're not Catholic, okay, fine. But like, how many Filipinos? Like, who? Who didn't stop anyone saying like it, we say and with your spirit now? Like, or it's what we should have been saying the whole time. It just it just mistranslated to and and also with you, right? And so, what's your thoughts on that? No, you hit it right on the head right there, and especially that. Being Filipino, part of our culture, a big part of our culture is being Catholic. And you would think that with all these Filipinos on set, like you said, someone would have noticed that change. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's it, like you said, it's been since 2008 since we've since the Vatican has implemented that change in the wording. And it's not like it's anything new. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, the, I still see memes today, which it, that does the uh, um, and also with you, and then it crosses out and with your spirit, yeah. you know, like. Um, so I and it's so funny because obviously I play off of like pop culture, and then there's also may the force be with you, and and a lot of people say like during like on the um, during May fourth, the may the force be with you, and and we as Catholics say and also with your right. f- force spirit, you know, <laughs> like we may not say and with your spirit, we even say with your force spirit, your force ghost, right, and so. It's it's still that level of like portion in there and and the last portion I think this is what 
drives me like hitting the nail on the cross type of thing. And so um, being quite, quite on the nose is treating the Santa Nino as a piggy bank. My goodness. Like this past weekend was Sunulog, which is for Cebuanos, a big festival celebrating the veneration, the veneration of the Santa Nino, right? Um, baby, sweet baby Jesus, right? Um, I knew, so there was also words in the movie, like uh, the Santa Nino is creepy. Like I can a little, let that go a little bit because any figure of a child, <laughs> <laughs> like doll type of thing is creepy to me. So I can, I can kind of let that joke slide. Um, but when, but treating it as a piggy bank, come on. Yeah. Like, now you piss me off, and I'm gonna take each and Deb. every. Deb, look. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's ten thousand dollars. When they said like when the the Tito Jose of the movie said like oh Tito like the Santa Nino will save you, I thought it was gonna be like. Um, someone's going to shoot them, and then s somehow the Santa Nino is going to intervene, you know, like on a divine intervention type of thing where, like, this st statue without no ha without power in, in itself, right, but um, would save them. But it the, the saving grace here was it was a piggy bank for <laughs> money. Like, come on. Like, what's your thoughts real quick? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that just shows, like, that's where Hollywood steps in, right? Because mm -hmm. they have to keep the story moving somehow. They have to add that twisted element. And unfortunately, it was at the cost of Santa Nino, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like truly if you call yourself a Catholic, that is what makes you at your core. Yeah. Right? And so... To have this movie again where it's mainly Filipino and culturally Catholic as well, it in a sense it is disrespectful yeah. because, you know, to us Filipinos, to Catholics in general, it means so much more than that. But I could I get it because again it's Hollywood, right? We gotta keep the story rolling and add that twist in for that surprise factor. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and again this goes into